Because of Lisa's agonizing delay, Man Tracker is closing in fast. The pair have just under three kilometers to the finish. The way the boot print is tipped to the right, all of the tread on the right is very visible. The left side isn't. It tells me they put all their weight on the outside of their right foot and turned and went left. Time left, 20 minutes. Even at a flat out sprint, the Bray's chances are fading fast. Where are we going? Along the grass. Nicolina and Lisa need a miracle. Either that or some radical move. There's footprints there where they've gone down around the end of this fence. Maybe out the other side of the lodge. Hi, hi. We're trying to dodge someone for the Outdoor Life Network. We need to get to the train tracks. We found their tracks where they come out of the old ski lift here. See if we can follow them, see where they go. Oh my God, sir, thank you so much. Just don't stop for a man on horseback. He's a horrible man. Right there. <laughs> tracks end right here. It looks like they got into a vehicle right here. I guess our day's done. For this final stretch to victory, Lisa and Nicolina want to feel the ground beneath their feet. When we got out of the car, like, we genuinely both felt like we were racing for freedom. Like, that was going to be the first moment in two days where we weren't paranoid and we didn't feel like someone was going to attack us from the back and throw us on a horse and take us away. <laughs> it was just natural. We had went through this whole journey together. Um, we bonded and, and reaching that finish line together was just, it was such an accomplishment. After enduring constant fear for almost 36 hours, victory is sweet for these underdogs. As for Man Tracker, We have to give, give them a, the respect they're due. They used the resources at hand whether it was hiding or running or whatever was appropriate. They got to a main road, they used a vehicle. It's part of the game. We gotta give them kudos for that.